What's up guys, Brendan Hancock here with another episode of Groove Subaru Today, and I've brought two WRXs along with us today, the new 2018 Subaru WRX, and I've also brought Marshall along, my beautiful 2016 WRX. Now, there's a reason I brought these two cars here today, and the one that we're looking at on the right, this is a new 2018 WRX Premium, but it comes with two specific packages. The Sport Package, which is also on my 2016, but also the new Performance Package, which is coming on the new 2018 WRX. It's new for this year. So before we take a look at the specific things that that Performance Package is gonna offer, let's take a look at some of the redesigns we can see on the exterior between the 18 and the 2016 as well. So the first thing we're gonna notice, overall on the sides, they're gonna look very, very similar. There's not really a lot of change in the lines or the dimensions. The hood, the top hood here, uh, to, my, to the, you know, the view of my eye looks exactly the same. The biggest changes are gonna be on the front bumper here. So we're gonna have a little bit of a different grill design here, as you can see, slightly different than the 2016. We're also gonna have mildly different headlight design down here by the fog lights. And the biggest thing, as you can see, this big cutout right here, this is to reduce weight, and they've also redesigned sort of the structure of the front end to be a little bit better for uh, crash absorption as well. So I think it looks a little bit more like an Evo, so that I don't exactly like, but overall, I think it's a really, really nice, high contrast sort of feel uh, to the overall you know, vibe that it gives you kind of looking head on. So very, very nice there. A couple other things. So to talk about the, uh, the sport package in particular. Now, my 2016 has a sport package and it comes with a couple of things. You get the 18 inch black STI spoke wheels that you'll see on mine here. You also get the short throw shifter, the SPT performance exhaust, which is a full cat back exhaust. And then you also get a nice STI leather shift knob on the vehicle, which we'll see when we go inside as well. Now, these wheels that you see on this car right here, these are the new redesigned 18 inch wheels that you'll see that will come standard on both the premium and the limited trim levels of the new 18 WRX. However, those will get swapped out because this vehicle does come with a sport package. Now, as part of the performance package, you're gonna get a couple of other things, some of which we'll see on the inside, but for the first thing you might notice here are those red brake calipers that we see. So these are painted red brake calipers. Uh, that's gonna be part of the performance package. You're also gonna get an eight-way power adjustable Recaro racing seat. You're gonna get upgraded Jurid high-performance brake pads. And last but not least, you're gonna get a moonroof delete as part of the performance package. So the 18 WRX is still gonna come with a moonroof in its regular form, but if you do get the performance packages with the Recaro seats and the upgraded brake, uh, brake pads, uh, you are no longer going to get a moonroof. That is to reduce weight, and it's also to increase structural rigidity as well. So the biggest thing about it is definitely the weight reduction for the sportiness element of it. Would I like to see that? I don't know. I like, I like my moonroof a lot, but I definitely also really, really like those seats, so it's really, really nice. So um, a couple of things I want to note on the outside here too. One of the biggest things that I absolutely love, and this is so small for some people, but for me it's a big deal. If you recall the previous WRXs and STIs, they had the nice little uh, holes up here to put your roof rails in. They've brought that back. My car does not have that. We did not see that on the WRX last year either, and it is really, really great to actually see that, that you can put roof rails on there. Currently, you know, with mine, if I was to put roof rails on, I'd either have to go with the ones that are sort of the suction cup mounts on top, or the ones that kind of, you know, hug inside the car, which I think, you know, there's a high risk of damaging the vehicle there and I just don't want to do that. Don't feel comfortable doing it with my car. So um, that's a huge, huge deal. I think this car with a, you know, a cargo basket on top would look so, so, so good. So I'm really, really excited for that. All right, so here I am inside the 2018 Subaru WRX Premium with both the Sport and the Performance Package, and I must say it is a very, very nice place to be. The first thing that I'm going to notice here is going to be these Recaro racing seats. These are part of the of the performance package, which is new for the 2018 WRX, and they remind me quite a bit of the STI seats. They're a little bit higher bolstered up even than the STI seats, you know, without the Recaro, and they've got the nice, you know, sort of suede Alcantara feel here, uh, which is really, really nice. It gives it sort of a leathery feel, and in my personal opinion, I actually like this Alcantara sort of suede feel more than actual leather when I'm in a, uh, you know, a performance car, because I feel like I'd be slipping around in the leather, and I don't really like that. Overall, I have a much more STI kind of feel in here. Um, if you can notice on the door panels and things, you have the nice leather leather with the red stitching two-tone there that is very much that of the STI. And that sort of presence with red stitching and just red overall uh, is very prevalent on the interior of this vehicle. 
A couple things that have been done as well um, to the suspension. They've both tuned the front and the rear suspension a little bit to give it a little bit more of a rigid feel, but also a little bit softer over bumps, a little bit more of a comfortable uh, drive, even more so than last year. I would describe in its severity, you know, if you've heard our, our videos about the Impreza, you know, comparing the 16 to the 17, now that's obviously a completely different global platform feel, but it's going in that direction. I would say it's about half as intense of, uh, as that change from a 16 Impreza to a 17 was, but it's very much going going in the direction of that soft feel of the global platform, even though this is still on the same platform as it was last year. They've also made a little bit of changes to the steering, to the electronic power steering. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit more soft, a little bit more of a natural feel. Um, I didn't notice drastic differences, not as much as I did with the suspension tuning. That you are going to notice. And the other thing you're gonna notice driving this car is the road noise. I always personally, drive, and I don't know if a lot of you guys do this too, but I always like to crack the window a little bit because I like to hear the exhaust. Now this car has a performance exhaust and I like to hear that. And it kind of just like helps me to like, you know, when to, when to shift and things like that as well, just by hearing it. Um, so a quiet cabin to me in this car isn't super important, but you know, if you are, you do have other passengers and things like that. Um, it's nice because you can still hear the engine. You just don't hear that wind noise. So they've increased the thickness of the glass in both the driver and the passenger's doors, as well as the front windshield. Other things that they've done, they have changed the shifting a little bit. They've got a new synchro design here for the gear shifting. Uh, definitely quite a bit smoother. There's less resistance here uh, and the gears do still feel very precise. Now, this one does have the short throw shifter on it. So it's definitely gonna be a little bit of a shorter throw distance than you'd have with a, a non-short throw shifter WRX, but I'm very, very happy with this. I have the short throw in mind, obviously as part of the sport package. I love that. I think it's one of the most cost effective uh, things that you can get for your WRX without voiding any warranty or anything. So it's really great. They have got the seven inch touch screen infotainment system. So this is a night and day difference um, between the 6.2 that I have in mind, for example. Um, I've got 36 different presets here, any combination of AM, FM, or satellite. So I've got a nice Sirius XM radio in here, which I still have in the 16 WRX, but it's not as nice for some reason. I don't like it as much. It doesn't, it's not as easy to, to navigate as it is in this car. Also voice activation works flawlessly with the seven inch screen. I can send text messages, receive text messages, but we're still not gonna have Apple CarPlay that's on its way. Uh, but this is a huge, huge upgrade that I love to see. I, so much wish that I had it in my car. I do not like that 6.2 inch screen. Um, this is a great, great upgrade here. The other thing, everything else around here is pretty similar. No change in the cup holders. Heated seats look to be in a, the same spot, but they did also change the up top. They used to have, I think it was like a 4.1 or something inch screen up here. That's the same as you have on the Forester currently. And now they've got this nice, I think it's like a 5.2 seven or is, is definitely a bigger um, screen looks almost exactly the same as what we're seeing in the current Impreza. Overall, very, very excited with this car. We are gonna do an in-depth test drive review of this WRX with the performance package. Um, so check out that video if you haven't already and subscribe today also if you haven't already. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you guys next time on Group Super Today.